What's up guys, it's TJ. Welcome up here to the Fishing with Yak Pack YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be building the ultimate pond fishing, pond hopping bag that you could possibly imagine. We are here today at Dick Sporting Goods in I believe Savannah, Georgia or Port, 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 Port Wentworth, Georgia or something like that. We're close to Fort Stewart, I know that. And that's in Georgia, close to Savannah. We're very close to there. So anyways, Dick Sporting Goods in the parking lot and we've got us a brand new Guggen bag live for sale on the website or even in some Dick Sporting Goods. So as you guys can see, there is a ton of storage in this brand new bag. Like I said, these bags are sold on GuggenSquad.com. If you shop for them there and if you decide to purchase one, you can use code YAKPACK and save some money. Or if you don't want to do that, you can shop locally at your local Dick Sporting Goods and if they don't have them there, they've got another sort of tackle bag. I feel like everybody needs a tackle bag if you're like a professional like elite series youtube fisherman or if you're like a major league pond hopper you know what i'm saying like everybody needs a solid pond hopping bag but anyways we're gonna head inside dicks i have a couple packs of blazing worms and a, a mystery tackle box that i'm gonna throw in here for today's video but we need to fill this bag up right we want the best of the best of the best we need all kinds of fishing lures because surprisingly it's cold in savannah georgia i don't know why it's cold down here it was warmer up in north georgia I, you know i really just the weather this year needs to make its mind up and it, it hasn't done that but anyways uh trey we put the bag back in the truck really quick so nobody steals it because that would be that would be yeah catastrophic but anyways as we make our way inside of dick sporting goods don't forget to go ahead and make sure you are subscribed make sure you like this video and drop a comment down below on places you want to see me go fish or just random cool video ideas that you guys have with that said we'll see you guys inside dick sporting goods all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here now in Dick's Sporting Goods, and I want to show you guys a little something, something. On the Guggen Squad website, they're $119, but with code YAKPAC, you can save some money. Or if you go to your local Dick's Sporting Goods, you will find them on sale. It looks like, yes, $99 for a fishing backpack. Now, we're going to cram this thing absolutely full of the green goodness. You guys already know the deal. There's also different varieties, right? So this is more like a, uh, a tackle storage thing you, you could keep this on the boat i don't know I, you really could you know you could shoulder sling this bad boy get you a little arm sling thing going on you could you could definitely pond hop with this but it's not like a backpack right so throughout my pond hopping extravaganza and adventures when i lived in south florida where there are literally millions of ponds everywhere literally you close your eyes throw a rock you hit a pond throughout that little fishing adventure of about four years i learned very quickly that a backpack was hands down, like no matter what, the best way to go while pond fishing and pond hunting. So let's go ahead and grab what we need to grab. Like I said, I've got a couple packs of blazing worms out in the truck. I don't think blazing worms are on the shelf yet. I don't see them. So we're gonna, I also never fished in Savannah, Georgia, so I have no clue what to expect. It's 59 degrees when last Saturday in Savannah, Georgia, my friend was telling me that it was 82 degrees. So. Big difference, I don't know. Maybe we can find some bedding fish today. Not 100% sure, but what do we need? Let's see, what do we need? Uh, definitely one of these, because why not? Mm. Oh, let's see, definitely, where's it at? Mm, definitely a gold one. Let's see. Um, I'm thinking, what do you think, Trey? I think we need a pack of, uh, I think we need a pack of rattle and nuds too. We definitely need this in case we find some on a bed. I don't know that we will because it is very like. It's pretty nippy outside. I don't know why. What about a pack of Senkos? Definitely. A pack of Lunker Logs? Yeah, Lunker Logs for sure. I think we're just gonna, I tell you what, we're just gonna grab a whole bunch of stuff, just random, just a whole bunch of everything. And then uh, we'll meet you guys outside and then we'll pack the bag up, show you how much storage it actually has. And then, uh, We'll do some pond fish. We'll see you guys outside. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we made it to uh, to where we're gonna park. And we're gonna do a little bit of walking today to uh, to really emphasize the pond hopping. Uh, this, I, look, we just, there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff here. I'll tell you one thing that I'm not specifically gonna need today in this video, and that's the two tackle boxes that come with this bag, just because I don't wanna have to like organize all this stuff right now. I think you should organize it, but just for the sake of Tom being in today's video, we're just gonna throw all this stuff in here for the most part. And uh, pretty much just, we'll really test out how much room this thing's got. So first up, we got the mystery tire boxes for a different video. You can't look at that yet. MTB, like this, look at that, how nice, how nice that fits. We got the blazing worms, put a couple packs of those. 
Dude, there is a lot of storage in this bag. Like, there's just pockets on pockets on pockets. And you, you like, you just can't beat that. Guggen Ganger, don't bang. They're, they're, I'm, nah, I'm just gonna, like, hey, nah, tell you what. There you go. Watch. Literally, there's so many pockets on this bag, it just blows my mind. There's two pockets inside of one pocket. Two compartments inside of one Oh, wrong zipper. That's crazy though. The guys really took their time like coming up with this bag, I feel like. They I mean it's just the padding on it, the shoulder straps. That logo's fire also, by the way. Mm. But yeah, the padding on it. One thing you definitely want, especially these kind of straps that are gonna sit better over your shoulders rather than like a regular backpack strap. That is what's gonna like, I don't know, just it feels weird. You know, I got a, a lot of experience walking with a lot of weight on my back. And this is definitely 10 out of 10, what I would recommend every single time. So, we'll see. For all my other Army people out there, y'all know what's up. Those, the old 12 miler. Uh, let's see, what else? We're just going to stuff, should we? Just stuff it, yeah. So, I think it's really cool, too, because you can, like, just open your bag like that, and boom. If you were organized, unlike myself, we have a scale. We have all that good stuff today. Yeah. If you were organized and not like me, you would definitely, uh... I mean, I don't know, probably be able to fit more stuff in here, but we're just cramming, cramming and going. What are you starting with, Jay? What are you going to throw first? I don't know. I need to find a hook first, but I think I'm going to start with, like, a clutch if I can't Do you need this? Uh, no. You're not going to use this right now? No. Okay, good. Because if I break off today on, like, a 12-pounder, I've got some. Oh, look, oh, that's crazy. I just noticed this. You probably ain't going to be able to, like, I almost said y'all ain't going to be able to feel that on camera. You ain't going to be able to see this, but look. It's like the, uh, what's that stuff called? The money bag? Mesh? Plastic? It's like, no, it's like, look, it's like the money bag material. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's not just the mesh right there. Like, you see what I'm saying? I don't know how to explain that. There's like, it's like a money bag. Zip it up, and it's, I ain't gonna say waterproof. Water resistant. Nothing's waterproof. Except me. I don't know where my fanny pack is. Probably you know in the boat. Where my fanny pack is? Probably in the boat. No, for real? That's all hooks, weights, probably. everything. Probably. Yeah, it's probably in the boat. Well, we're going to have to scrounge for some hooks and weights. Because if not, then I have I literally have none. All right, ladies and gents, we've got our bag packed for the most part. The only thing we did not remember to get while we were at Dick's is uh, some hooks and weights. And I left my little, uh, my little pack that I usually wear, the little fanny pack. I left that in the boat, so we need to run to Walmart real quick. Get some hooks and weights. So after we do that, we'll see you guys on the water. All right, ladies and gents, we're back. We have our hooks and weights. We're at the first spot. Now, I'm gonna start off with a, uh, a Blue Baby blazing one, just because y'all know the deal. Blue Baby is freaking sauce. Oh, man. Oh, sick, if I was a fish, dude, I, I'm telling you right now, I would have a sore mouth. Like, I would eat this over and over and over again. What look like, Trey? What look like? You're looking pretty snazzy, I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> That feels good on, a, on the shoulders. I like to cinch mine down really tight. One thing I learned in the Army is when you got a bag that hangs off of you like that, that's not the move at all. Not, not at all. That's going to hurt your lower back. It's going to hurt your upper back. Put a lot of unnecessary strain on your shoulders. No matter how much weight is in that bag, it's just going to, it's unnecessary. So, zipper tight. Let's hit the, uh, hit the, hit the banks hit the, running. Right, let's, let's go fish. Got one. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, oh, first one on the blazing worm, just picking out a backlash, and he bit it, let's go, on the plum blazing worm, huh, 12 pounds, every single place that I've fished, yes ma'am, no ma'am, not on this circle, no ma'am, Oh shoot! Okay, okay. No worries. I seen. I, I've read. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. They are. They're running away too. They're scared. Gotcha. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I seen it. It said lagoon. No swimming. I just kind of walked right past. But I got you. Yes, ma'am. No. It's no worries. It's no worries at all. Yeah. For sure. That's what. Yeah. We'll go up that one. We'll go that one. Thanks. Yeah. No worries at all. No worries at all. I understand completely. Y'all have a good day. Yeah, we definitely just got kicked out. Old Karen was uh, not wanting us to fish here, I guess. So, oh well, on the next spot. 
So you're not allowed to fish that pond unless you live in the little circle. So obviously I don't live in the little circle. So I guess we're not going to do that. Oh, dang. That's tough. Literally three casts in and I got bit. That was crazy. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, spot number two we go. Got another one, got another one. Oh, oh, boys, one. Let's go, let's go. Oh, Trey's got a good one. Let's go, Trey's on him. Trey's on him. Come here. Yes, I got another one. Let's go on the boys' worm. The plum blazing worm, back to back cast, no freaking way. Let's go. Still not a very big one, but hey, that's fun, though. Bro, back to back cast? All right, ladies and gents, we're back now. We've got our uh, bag right here. Now, listen, uh, fishing sucks right now, okay? We went to uh, Savannah, Georgia. That's where we were fishing at. And uh, it was 80 degrees the seven days leading up to the day I was in Savannah. The day I was in Savannah, the high was 41. And the, the next couple days after that, it was in the high 70s, low 80s. So, I just, I can't catch a break. I'm, I'm doing doing my best. But, you know, Trey, Trey caught a, uh, or Trey caught one or two fish, I think. I don't even remember, but anyways, um, I seen a couple on the bed, but it was just that that weather's got them fricked up right now. But anyways, my final thoughts on this bag is like, dude, I'm going to just tell you now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I feel like every pond hopper needs a solid bag or some sort of carrying system that they can carry around all the stuff that they need. Whether it's, uh, for example, perfect example, you guys uh, watch One Rod, One Reel. He's got a bag. Uh, now he uses this bag, but the bag be before we made this one, um, he had a bag. He would have line, scissors, scale, uh, hooks, weights, lures, everything you could think of for any type of situation on the water, you can have in here to include like some maybe like safety supplies, a mystery tackle box that you can use code YAKPAC on MTB's website to get for as little as $10. You, uh, literally everything you could possibly think of. So comfortability, it's got it. Storage, it's dang sure got it and just accessibility ease of accessibility it's got it and it's a really really cool looking bag i mean just look at this like this thing is freaking epic dude but anyways uh, i appreciate you guys watching trey and i are headed to north carolina today is friday you're watching this video right now it's friday trey and i are leaving sunday afternoon i think to head to north carolina we've got a couple of tournament stuff like cup uh We've got a couple of tournament videos planned on, uh, I believe, Lake Norman, Lake Moss, and maybe Lake, I think Lake James or something like that. One of the, or we're going to fish tournaments on, I think it's either James or Joe Cassie or something like that. So if you guys know how the bite is up there right now, let us know because we haven't been up there in quite some time. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Hit the video with a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys on the next adventure. I love y'all. Peace.